Hey guys, it's Jenny with Art for Good. Today I'm going to show you how to create a garden type landscape that's very abstract and we're going to do a little bit of a twist on it. We're going to do it with some saran wrap and today I'm going to use uh, some pre-mixed paints. This is a really nice kit that I received from my friends at Hippie Crafter. It has several colors and the great thing about it is they're all pre-mixed so if this is something you were like looking to get into as a beginner this is a perfect kit for you because you don't have to worry about getting the right ratio and for someone like me who's been doing this a while it's just fun to get different colors that you can try out that aren't necessarily in your normal routine so let's get started so I'm starting with just layering some black and green colors uh, at the base of the painting. This is gonna be sort of the greenery or the garden area of the painting. I did speed up this painting slightly. That's why uh, it looks like I'm moving at superhuman speed, uh, just so I could show you a little bit quicker how to do this. I'm just making very small drops, letting the paint drop out and no rhyme or reason to it. I'm just using most of the green and black shades that are in this kit. If you're looking to purchase the kit, I do have a link that I'll put in the description below that will get you a special 15% discount. So keep an eye out for that. I like to put some dark colors in at the very bottom of the painting, especially if I'm doing a landscape, because it helps it look a little bit more realistic. If you do look at a normal landscape, usually the sun is out farther in the distance and the light does not reach right up front close to where you are. So it just helps uh, add a little perspective, especially to an abstract painting. So in the middle here, I am using red, pink, and gold hues is my colors. And for the top, I'm gonna add a little bit of white. That'll make it look a little cloudy, if you will. I'm also gonna add some different shades of blue. Again, I'm working towards getting towards the top being darker than at the bottom, towards the horizon. That's just naturally how the sun looks, especially if you're going for maybe an evening look. Now your canvas doesn't have to be completely saturated, but you wanna get pretty good coverage. So I'm just gonna keep going here until I've got most every square inch of this canvas covered with some piece of paint. All right, now we're ready for the plastic wrap. So I'm just tearing off one sheet and then I'm going to place it down right on top of the paint. One sheet's probably only gonna cover about half of the canvas or a third, so I may use multiple sheets here. Once you set it down, you don't need to push down too hard. You just wanna make sure that that 
uh, plastic wrap is adhering to the paint and helping to spread it out to cover all those gaps on the canvas without paint. All right, now once I have a good squish happening here, I am gonna make sure all the little pieces are covered. Then I'm going to take off the wrap and I want to pull it from the bottom to the top because that's gonna elongate those colors and make it look a little bit more like the flowers are growing upwards into the sun. Here we go. Super satisfying to pull that off. Now I am really gonna torch this well. This technique creates a lot of bubbles, so make sure you spend enough time torching your canvas. If you don't have a torch or you're not sure where to get one, I have a link in the description below of some of the common supplies that you'll need in order to create this piece. So check out that Amazon link there. I'm just fixing a few of the spots. Where I wanted a little more blending to happen. I'm also making sure that the sides and all the corners and everything is covered with paint. That's super important. A lot of people when they're doing paintings forget to do the sides, but it, you can tell when you're buying art or shopping for art and it just makes it look a little more professional if you have those uh, sides finished. So I'm taking my finger and just dabbing into the flower area. So this is gonna make it look a little more like petals or an abstract version of that by uh, just creating little kisses, as I call them, um, with my finger. You can also use a balloon, like a small latex balloon for this. Um, if you want to create larger looking flowers, but I was really going for a super uh, minuscule look, a little Monet-like, if you will. So now I'm just gonna take the uh, plastic wrap and I've just made a little ball of it and I'm just gonna tap very lightly around just to help break up the stark contrast of some of those colors that did not blend as well as I'd like. So I'm going to do that in the sky, and I also did that below in the greenery. This is a super easy and fun technique. You can actually do this as a paint party with your friends, or if you have kids, this is a perfect technique for them. It's also a perfect technique for beginners because you really just throw the paint on there and then put plastic wrap down. You really cannot mess this up, especially if you're using pre-mixed paints like the ones I'm using today. All right, just doing the final touches. And then I think we're ready for the final reveal. So here's a close up of the painting. You can see it really made beautiful abstract looking flowers. And this is the final piece. If you're interested in making more landscapes, I have a whole playlist here that you can keep watching so you can create something that you love as well. Well, that's all I have for today. I'll see you next time.